Hi, it's Dave, uh, the Brutally Honest Gamer, and right now I'm going to be looking at my Gamecom. So, let's get the shit cannon ready, because this is going to be pretty bad. Uh, the Gamecom was developed and made by Tiger. Uh, if you remember back in the day, Tiger was all over them LCD single game things that all the kids had. Um, like Ninja Gaiden, I remember I had pretty much any big game out at the time had its own dedicated little Tiger LCD game. Uh, so I guess the next step was to make a system. Well, they really fucked up this one big time. Um, this thing's a disaster, that's all I can really say. Number one, the system is freaking gigantic. Here, here's the old brick again. So you can see just how big this thing actually is. Now they did make a pocket version um, a little bit later in its life, but I think that's even more rare uh, because at, at that point in time the system was pretty much dead. Um, you have your on and off button, four face bu action buttons, then you have menu, sound, pause, and then your D-pad which is not very good at all. Um, some of the least cool features are it had two cartridge ports, so you could have two games in at once. Uh, the, car the games themselves are very small. On this side, you have your volume and contrast. Headphone jack on the bottom. And then up here, I don't know if you can see it, right there. Uh, COM port. Yeah, this thing would actually connect to the internet, and you could have... Email, I believe, was pretty much the only thing you could do. It was a very basic at the time. But the other thing that was pretty cool was the touchscreen. So they tried to make a PDA slash game system, and this was years before the DS and years before the Zodiac. Uh, so if anybody thinks Nintendo's original still, um, pretty much everything they've done, you can point to something that's been done from somebody else. The system had actually decent support. Uh, you had games like Fighters Mega Mix from Sega, which is god awful. Resident Evil 2 from Capcom, which is actually not that bad, all things considered. It's at least playable. And then probably the worst Sonic game ever made, Sonic Jam. Um, I will get to these games, I will review them eventually. This game right here though is, it's so misleading. I mean you look at the back, you look at them graphics and like wow this game looks fantastic. It even says play classic levels of Sonic 2, 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Any, the internet wasn't big back in the day, this was released in 98, the system came out I believe in 97. So there wasn't still a whole lot of information that was readily available for people to get reviews and stuff like that. So I would imagine the Sonic game was a big seller just for the fact that it was Sonic. But the game, it's unplayable. Um, I couldn't imagine being a kid getting Sonic for this thing as a gift. Uh, it would be the worst gift ever. Like I said, I mean, they had all their support. They had Mortal Kombat for this. I can't remember the full lineup of the games, but the third party support wasn't that bad. Unfortunately, the system was so bad that the games followed suit and they were terrible. We'll turn this thing on. There's the, there's the boot up. Gamecom active. Yeah, Gamecom active. Fantastic. All right, well, the first thing you have is your cartridge ports. Then you had a phone book, a calendar, a calculator, the saved high scores, and then a built-in solitaire game that even that's terrible. Um, there's no options to it. You can't draw three cards. It's only one draw, one card draw solitaire. So they couldn't even get that right. And then each little thing has like an animation like here. You really need the animation of, 
a cart flying into the the surface of the Death Star. So. <laughs> yeah, listen to that. That's about par for every Gamecom game music. Ugh, I gotta turn it off. I mean, as a collector, uh, it's something that I mean, I pretty much had to have one. Um, I think this is the second one I've actually owned. I think the first one I owned, I got rid of pretty quick. Um, and I actually bought that thing when they were still being sold in stores. System is big. It's terrible. It's a piece of shit. It's a huge piece of shit. Only buy this thing if you're a serious collector. The games are fairly cheap and they're readily available. There were not many games. I think maybe 20, 25 games total. There's nothing rare that I can think of that comes off the top of my head. So it should be relatively easy to get a complete game collection for this system. The rarest thing is actually going to be the pocket version of the Gamecom. And I've seen them actually go uh, for quite a bit of money. I was actually surprised, uh, but they're probably more rare. I've actually never seen one before in stores or anywhere. But that's the Gamecom. Stay away. It's a total piece of shit. The sound, the screen is a blurry mess of pixels. The, the the best game I have, I have, I think, 10 games for this, and it's Will of Fortune. Yeah, that's right. The best game for the Gamecom that I own is fucking Will of Fortune. They couldn't even get goddamn Sonic right. Couldn't do Resident Evil right. Couldn't do Fighters Megamix right. Yeah. Well, this is Dave the Brutally Honest Gamer, and uh, keep watching.